Hi everyone, today I'll be swatching two polishes from Fedora Harp that she sent to me as a press sample. These are two out of three polishes from her Tu Bishvat collection, that's an Israeli holiday, and I absolutely love these polishes, I love how they look, but each one of them had some problems. So the problem uh, with two of them is that they have flakies, which is really really hard to remove, but it's okay. So the polishes that I'm swatching, I don't know how to pronounce their names, but the first one is Plum Turkard, I, I don't know how to say it, the uh, purple one, and the green one is Grootling, and again, I don't know how to say them. So I already have a review on other polishes from her that were actually my first voiceover video, and I really uh, didn't talk about the indie itself. So if you want to see it, I put the link down below for the video and to her shop. Okay, so Fedora Harp is a 5 free indie brand that sells all kinds of polishes, shimmers, glitters, metallics, blah blah, all the stuff. And all of her uh, full size bottles are, are 15 millimeters, milliliters, and the mini ones are 5. The brushes of her polishes are regular polished brushes, uh, flat brushes with a flat tip. Okay, so the first one that I'm swatching is Plum Turk, Turk I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I am so, yeah. <laughs> so this is a really, really beautiful uh, purple plumish jelly polish that also have, has uh, shifting flakies to blue and purple. And I can almost see gold. So this also has micro gold glitters and blue and purple shimmer. So here is the brush video thing, <laughs> you know that I don't know how to call it, if you've seen my last swatch video, I put the link down for it too below. You can scroll down all the way to the bottom of my description box to see it. Here is the first coat and you can see here how jelly it is. So it's had a really good formula and self level really great and it dries as fast as a regular polish. This polish and the other one are completely opaque in three coats since it's a jelly so Three coats for a jelly is really really awesome. Leia, the owner of the shop, uh, warned me that it, would, it could stain my nails, but this one actually didn't, so it was great. But if you want to prevent them from staining, she told me to use two coats of base coats. So if you would like to try them, you can do that. If you want to learn how to paint your nails perfectly, I have a video that's called how to paint your nails perfectly. The link is all down the way. Uh, in the description box so you can click down there the thing about this particular polish is that it didn't last on my nails like at all it peeled off after three to four days and I was really embarrassed <laughs> to go out of public they were like oh my god cheer your nails look terrible your polish peeling off oh my god how are you like that blah 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 so it was really really annoying but when I the other uh, hand when I apply a top coat, I don't apply the top coat on my right hand. So it lasts um, four days. It was perfect, it didn't peel off. So if you'd like to buy it and you don't want it to peel off, so you can use a top coat on all of your nails. So here are the swatch photos. Here is the shady one and I love it. It's so, so pretty. Look at those flakies. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. And that jelly effect. I love jelly effect. I think that it's so beautiful. And here's the macro shot, which is really unfocused, but you can see all of the flake is better and the uh, silver uh, shimmer, glitter, you know, okay. And here is the sunny peak, which is beautiful, I love it. And here is the macro shot, which is pretty, really pretty as well, and you can see all the flake is in the glitter. Next is Grutaling, I don't know how to say that either, so, <laughs> yeah. This is a really really pretty green jelly polish with the green to gold flakies, gold micro glitter and green shimmer and it is beautiful. So again the brush thing is pretty pretty pretty. Here is the first coat and the formula of this one was a bit stickier. I don't know how to say it. I mean if you can understand then it was a little bit harder to work with and it was really hard to manipulate but I managed. And again, like the last one, it dries as fast as a regular nail polish and it was completely opaque in three coats. And this polish didn't really peel off after a while, but it did peel off just a little bit after a, a two days or three days maybe. 
but it wasn't as badly as the first one. That was one was terrible. It peeled off after two days, I think, and this one started peeling off only the third day. The thing about this polish is that it really, really stained my nails. My nails are now completely yellow and they look so gross right now and I'm so sad. Even she warned me that I need to wear two coats of base coats. I wore it and it still stained my nails and I'm so devastated and I'm so sad. <sighs> it's even worse than in real life than in the picture. It's like boom, it's yellow, it's black. So here are the swatch photos of this polish. I really really like how it looks but it doesn't really look good on camera. It doesn't really show how beautiful this is. But here you can see sort of how beautiful it is in the shady pic. And you can see all the flakies. And here in the macro shot you can see more of the flakies but it wasn't really focused. So I hope you can understand what you can see. And here is the sunny pic which is, uh, I don't like how it looks. I think it just came out pretty bad. But that's, I took like a million pics of it and that's the best one that I got. And here's the macro shot which is okay. So it was really really hard for me to decide which one is my favorite. But um, I, I think that the uh, first one, I don't know how it's called, Plum Turk, whatever, the purple one. I think it's beautiful but the thing that I don't like about it is that it's it peels off really really bad but I love it so if you want to buy any of these polishes I put the link down below for a shop and you can see many many more polishes of her and that's it for this video I really hope that you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye